All right, part four. If anybody doesn't know, there are ten total parts. So, uh, so far with what we've been averaging, that's looking to be about, I think, 75 total videos for us, because the last one's longer than the rest. Ah, Thomas. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Thomas. Keeps us out of trouble. Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. Aww. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to suggest the same thing. I'll make arrangements for people to Whoa. gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get as many people as I can to come, so don't be late. Well, you'll be busy okay? all night. Don't be late. Yeah, jeez. No wonder she's got that outfit the on. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. It's Thanks, not a Thomas. real map. Well then, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Let me just position my arms awkwardly before I leave. That, that whole scene was really entirely necessary. A little pop-up that says yeah. you're too late would have done all that. <laughs> I'm just going to go sleep. Uh, so, probably, like, fish and interrogate the old woman some more and blah, 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 blah. Or maybe not. I guess we haven't been doing that the past few nights at the hotel. Maybe maybe we want to get started on this town hall thing. Maybe Geekmeister is like, oh, F this. I'm just going to go back and fish later. Maybe. We can hope. Watch it be like yeah. fishing in the toilet and... <laughs> 66 bucks. I want that gig. Yeah, no kidding, right? All right, okay. Is it time for a new suit, York? Because I'm thinking it's time for a new thump, suit. Thump, 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 thump. It didn't we change into a different one for like a tiny little bit? Like, uh, yeah, he had to change into another suit so he could send this suit to the dry cleaners. Yeah, I hope. That's all he cares about is just cleaning it and then changing back. I mean, come on. Like, there have got to be other even ridiculous suits that we could wear. There are. I see. But for some reason, Geekmeister is just wedded to... Uh, probably took him a while to uh, to earn that suit, since that's mm -hmm. a, a bonus. He sleeps in his suit. No oh god, we're going to die of starvation. Yes. That is a side effect of sleeping. <laughs> Let me eat these crackers. Yo. Stuffed your face with crackers. Oh, we can go out here. Did we do that before? I don't remember doing that. Uh, we never did it before. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go see our balcony. And be reminded about chocolate chip cookies and root beer. Yeah, now I'm hungry for chocolate chip cookies. I had brownies earlier and drank coffee and it became mocha in my mouth. Nice. Magic. You can call a car from the balcony? Oh, that makes sense because you're outside. You're outside. So like fall out, you can go into like, you know, 7,000 feet up and go outside and then you can fast travel even though you can't fast travel from inside. Right. Because that would be illogical. <laughs> Like I can't, I can't figure out how to get out of this place on my own. But if I'm seven thousand feet up, then the AI is smart enough. Is he here for lunch? All right, we're wearing a different suit. Yeah. Yep, we're here for lunch. He slept just long enough to be ready for lunch. Maybe we'll grab something from Thomas. Is that? Yep. Use your time appropriately. Did he just say he was using his time appropriately? Using something appropriately. His butt. <laughs> Cha ching No, not, a... not George Thomas. Mm hmm. Hello. And it's a window too, so he could show up at the last minute and still count. <coughs> But so, Ryan, that would be exactly making people wait for sure. To everyone about? This case goes deeper than you think. The town folk may have heard about the murder, but they don't understand it. 
It's a very dangerous situation, and I need to warn them properly. This case, like your mom, goes deeper, deeper than you think. No problem there. Emily has made all the arrangements. I've told everyone to gather around between 1500 and 1700. Great. That's the third or fourth time they've told him that. I think they mean it this time. Yeah. Reminds me of a film I saw recently. The town is under attack by aliens. And so the mayor calls all citizens to the town hall to warn them. However, seeing this, the aliens attack the hall and wipe them all out together. Is that aliens attack? relevant, Agent York? They fantastic. They used a combination of balloons and meat sauce for exploding heads. Those aliens start firing their death rays and heads start... Popping. Mars attacks. Black. Right? Yeah. Really quite something. Probably. Agent I don't know. York. I, I remember I hate it. I hated it, so... I know, Emily. I'm one of them. Well, anyway, your that sounds is like Mars attacks. Sauce. Thank you. No, no problem. Is that shrug? Yeah, their their canned gestures start to be my... really silly. I'll just move my arms awkwardly. That's his thing. <laughs> That's his lovemaking style as well. <laughs> I call it a beef in my pocket. I think I already made that joke. Brown bullhead catfish in my pocket. Uh huh. Boy, these loading screens, they're gonna they're, they, we're not even halfway through yet. They're they're just gonna keep getting worse. Yes, yes they will. Going to the diner. More fishing. Some woods. Fish. Keith sounds. God, what time is it in the game? Like, it's weird that we don't have a time over here. Uh, it? yeah, as soon, as soon as he drops the map, it'll show, I think. But it's somewhere near noonish because they just had lunch. Got it, okay. So we got a few hours. We can do whatever the hell we want. Uh, see, that road, that is murder if you don't have a good car. That's what he's looking for. That's where he's going. We're, we're due for a long... Because he hasn't been there yet. He's got to drive there. He can't fast travel oh, there. God. Although we can. So he's looking for the nearest place to fast travel, maybe. I believe that's likely. That phone's travel. all over the place. Oh, I, I assume he's going through his fast travel places. Let's yeah. See. It is thirteen hundred. One o'clock p.m. Still haven't had a hot dog with tomatoes. Out of tomatoes, I need to go shopping. <laughs> um, I almost missed it there. Oh, now I guess we just wanted to go to the hospital. Or maybe he's gonna. Maybe he's like, while I'm here. What are you doing here? I don't even know how you would put something in your inventory upside down. Um. You don't. Physically, I, I don't know. You you never like hold it in your hand or anything in the game, so it, I I don't know. <laughs> oh, another quiz. Oh, you get new ones each day. I I think she has like three total. It's one of those chain quests. Oh, okay. Or oh, not. No, but f that. How with that? Can we go play chess with Usha. Does he have another puzzle? That first one was really dumb. You may have to pause it to see it since our, our player went through it so quick, but it, it's really dumb. It has nothing to do with chess, in fact. He, he says, um, you know, the king king takes the rook and yada, you, you know, the statement, and it mentions four pieces, yeah. and all you do is you place the pieces in the order that they're mentioned. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Okay, I, this is this has got to be Usher, right? He's downstairs. It? Looks like. Oh, he's got a. Oh, I remember his side quest. Mm hmm. It's mm. very grown up. Usher, something on your mind? Oh, agent. Just the person I wanted to see. Getting him I and Felicity together. We're gonna play matchmaker. Is it something that predictable? A huh? Serious? Oh yeah, it's serious. I just can't figure it out. Now you've snagged my interest. Tell me more then. Mm. It's a question. Well, it's more like a riddle that Fiona gave me. Now, you might want to write this down. It's a little long. A.G. Silver. N.A. Sodium. Mm -hmm. 
G E Germanium E R Erbium L I Lithium K R okay. Krypton <sighs> I R Iridium S B It's gonna be that long Kimini, you can show the whole list. S E Wow. Yeah, okay. E U Europium and S R Strontium. The elements love you, Doctor. Gee, do they spell your name? Elements from the periodic table? <laughs> oh, that's right. I just, I thought it was some chemistry problem, but that doesn't seem to be it at all. Oh, it's her puzzle. Please. So it spells if, her name. If you can figure it out, you let me know, okay? Okay, Asha. I'll give it a shot. You let me know as soon as you figure it out. I mean, you're a stranger, so I'll share this with you. I, I guess he, he, you know, it's good. he did solve his riddles. So. <laughs> Yeah, what Usher thought was a difficult rid riddle. Uh... Of course, the the gameplay mechanics don't really allow you to to lay them all out in front of you and arrange them. You get uh, a, a multiple question. choice. Well, it's more like a riddle that feels. Okay. Like you might. Oh want no! To write this no! Down. No! No! No, Wait, no! No! Come on, skip, Gigmeister. All right. Okay, now, read the first letters vertically down. Angel kisses? You still don't understand? <laughs> uh, of course, angel kisses is freckles. The answer's Fiona. In other words, Fiona is in love with you. Oh, I, uh, I see. It's a very cute love letter. Yeah, Those I guess who have it the is. courage to love have the courage to face rejection. What? And no. she is a brave one. <laughs> Don't you think that's wonderful? Uh, Very brave no. by putting Just this in a riddle. And, and also, She's been I don't know if Angel Kisses like this for over a year. makes sense. Then why don't you um, respond? Apparently it's Is a something cute else euphemism for freckles. No, 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 no one else. It, everyone in the town seems to know because it comes up more than once. I don't once. dislike Fiona. I just I don't know what to do. Usha, don't tell me you've... Yeah, that's right. I've never had a girlfriend before. So he's Please now, don't tell gay. a soul. Promise. I won't do your <laughs> Give me an autopsy ace. if you tell. Yes. Usher, that's a fresh new way of saying something horrible. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for figuring this one that's out. That's a nice line. I may use now, that. I'll handle the rest. Yeah. Let me give you this to thank you. It's my butt. I mean, uh, I don't know. Like, how do you talk thanks, to Usher. women? Are they like cats? This will help me keep like it zipped, all right? <laughs> Agent, now don't. It's like the, the people kidding, who approach an author with this, like, dies. incredulous awe. Like, how do you write oh, women so well? Years time. Uh, <laughs> by not making it a big deal is part of it. <laughs> what was that line from As Good As It Gets? I take a man and then I remove... Uh... Agency and... Is it agency and wisdom? A something yeah, and agency. Uh... Pretty insulting, anyway. <laughs> Such an odd movie. Yes. It's like I didn't necessarily dislike it, but I don't understand why most of the people who liked it liked it. It's not as romantic as people make it out to be. Right, like the romance is like, oh, like, uh, she must be damaged somehow. But this she's is like, thinks this is appropriate. Um, this is not but, healthy. Yeah, but as someone who enjoys just like curmudgeony assholes, uh, I can't imagine why. I, <laughs> I, uh, it's representation, damn it. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I quite enjoyed the film, but I was like, why in God's name? Is they're like, like I mean, this romance makes zero sense. I think curmudgeon. Yet it was billed as a romantic comedy. Yeah, I I think by the numbers, curmudgeon assholes get more representation than than gay people. I think probably, probably by a fairly large margin. One or two overlaps, though. I mean, if you just take the Mary Tyler Moore show alone, yeah, then that's like what seven thousand hours of the you know yeah. that and the, all in the family. You've got like seven thousand hours of representation right there. Yeah, between Archie Bunker and Ed Asner, character and the actor, because I can't remember both. Um, Carol O'Connor and Ed Asner, between them, they kind of <laughs> set up American curmudgeon-y. Because 
British curmudgeons are a little different, for example. They can be camp and curmudgeon in Britain, which you really can't do here. Not as well. Hmm. Trying to think if you can do that, because, yeah, I mean, it's like what the Carry On films are all about. Right. And a camp curmudgeon. I tried watching the first one of those movies uh, because William Hartnell's in it, and uh, I was like, well, the movie's okay, but I don't see anything funny going on, so maybe uh, there's a cultural divide here. Yeah, uh, maybe. Because a lot of their innuendo is, is just dumb to, to modernize and to Americanize. It, it either doesn't make any sense, or it's obvious to the point of not being worth doing it. Mm. Um, Mitchell and Webb do a nice parody of of the, the Carry On films. The uh, there's a, a hospital scene, and it's set in modern day, but it's a body 1970s hospital. <laughs> so they're treating real patients, <laughs> but they're you know everyone's got kind of funny names like you know Lydia Hardbottom, and uh, uh, and everything is worded in in suggestive ways. And uh, um, all right. David Webb's character doesn't get it. He doesn't understand innuendo, so he just says, you know, there's this kind of body scene going on and everyone's doing this this double entendre, and he says, should I get my cock out? <laughs> and everything kind of freezes with the record scratch. <laughs> this is a 1970s body hospital. I'm not sure you understand. <laughs> I know, we gotta fill up because we keep getting hungry. I think that's what's going on here. Should be able to eat worms. I have Hi nothing there. left for you. Well, we got we gotta get food, damn it. Is that a size? Thomas just design? isn't cutting it. Uh it might have been. Oh, Hollandaise. Hollandaise sauce. That's for uh, Emily's next uh, cooking uh, side quest. Uh, and the egg, I guess. She's making Eggs Benedict? Eggs Benedict? I think so. And ham. I say, what else do you need? Uh, <laughs> what else do you need? Uh, damn it. Eggs and hollandaise sauce. Yeah. I've never seen hollandaise sauce in a can, though. <laughs> hmm. I suppose it's possible. That was a crowbar at the top. Yeah. Right? But, like, in, in human kitchens, hollandaise sauce doesn't last very long. I think in order to make it cannibal, you'd have to add some... Er, emulsifiers? I'll say that word like it, like I'm sure what it means. Mm, surfactants. Yes. Emulsifiers and surfactants. And emollients. And emollients. And so you can rub it into your skin. So. Surfactants are good for brushing your teeth, because that's in toothpaste. And emollients are good for your skin. And the emulsifiers are for making pudding and stuff, so... It's a hair gel. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is, it's, it's like chemical cooking. Yes. Mr. Blumenthal cooking. I don't know why we looked at the map if we're just gonna kinda go through the list here. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that every single time. <laughs> I keep almost forgetting about it. I swear I've missed one here at some point. It's, it's because I'm used to doing it with the flare, and now we're doing it with the uh, fast travel. The radio, yeah. You're used to doing it with flare, but now, uh, now just do it ordinary. Now it's just fast. <laughs> fast or flare. Alright, what are we... You're gonna change back to that goddamn suit, aren't you? No, we're just saving, okay. Yep, he's oh, gonna change into the suit. Son of a bitch. And it doesn't even have special effects, it's just his favorite. Alright, I mean, it's... It's not that I hate this suit, it's just that, like... If you've got every damn suit, why not change, you know? Yeah. Or if you're gonna stick with just one, get the one that causes you to regenerate, or something useful like that. Mm. No. York just smacked his head into the door. Nice going, York. Yeah, that's a thing he does. Where's Polly at, anyway? 
People shouldn't call him York. They should call him Dork. Maybe they do. Behind his back. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Jeez. Perfect. All Thanks. right. Yeah, some country ham. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's raining and his magical poncho has appeared. Well, that means murder's going on. No, I don't know if I. So here, so I'm two sided about this whole. Uh, there's a, you know, there's this uh, urban legend about a, 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 a raincoat killer whenever it rains. It's like, okay, if that were the case, a. Then, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, I guess maybe somebody's just living out the urban legend, but it seems like, a either a. This urban legend is real, and why hasn't it ever happened before, you know? Why was Anna the first victim? Or B, like, if this is a real thing, why not mention it before now? Ugh. Uh, oh, we're waiting right till five? Is that what we're doing? Uh, well, he's at Emily's house. He's gonna wait until she shows up. Cause I, I haven't... We, we, isn't it past the meeting time now? Yeah, it is. Okay. Imagine, imagine like in real life, collecting the whole town to go to town hall, and then have the main guy not show up two days in a row. <laughs> if this were real life or anything, he'd show up tomorrow and the place would be empty, except for like one crackpot. Yeah. Okay, but so I guess they just keep refilling the town hall. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be any penalty. 